What it do, YouTube gang? What it do? We on I-65, another beautiful day. Look outside. You can see it's sunny outside. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. So, let's get into my first week in prison. Technically, this is going to be a part two to the last video I did, which was a uh, touch-up of me actually going to prison. <clears throat> this one will be more based of my experiences in my first week of prison. Like, smell like to do a real quick touch up real quick i'll just like my video let's just run it back real quick to back in county like my very first time like when i was 18 years first 18 19 i think i might have been 18 i'm pretty sure it was, it was 18 not to mention <laughs> it's been that long ago uh the very first time i ever went to jail ever and i got some pretty good little experiences for that one but you know what I'm talking about, the smell, the nasty taste, the taste of the food, just the grunginess of the jail, like, going through them doors, they slamming in behind you, I mean, just loud echoing through there. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about, that, that grungy feel, that nasty, it's just like, ugh. Gotta go through the scar process, getting booked in, just sitting in the drunk tank, just absolutely just god-awful stuff, makes you want to pee. So, I got used to that though. After you do so much time over and over, and you just keep staying in the system, rotating in and out, in and out. Yeah, you get used to it. It is what it is. So, as you recall on the last video, I was telling you about the experiences when I very first pulled up to prison. I mean, just the absolute feel, the heart shake, the heart stop, just the absolute, just deep breath, want to puke, your heart, your stomach, all in your throat at the same time. Uh, it's just a terrible, terrible feeling. I mean, what else can you what else can you say about it? I mean, it's just a god awful feeling. So, trying to keep the video short, about ten minutes. That's where I'm on first week of the system when I'm at the what they call the rotor farm. People rotating in and out, in and out. So I you remember me talking about me us coming in through the doors right there in the Sally Port, right about where my window is, right here in in the I wing in Unit Two Blue. Uh, which I have to say is pretty good cell, even though, like, when I first walked in, after we got through all through the little area, through the little shower, we had, oh, I told you, I mean, you have to watch the last video about that. Just free, don't forget to like and subscribe. You gotta do that. You got to. My dog. My ape. So, look, man. I didn't tell you about their experiences. Like, that was just more like a shell shock. Like, oh, man, I can't believe when this happened. And you hold the sign up, you know, the little sign like this. And as I get better with these videos, I'll add this stuff in. And, like, you know, we, we might go through, redo these, you know, later on down the road. You know. uh, but, yeah, man, like, just all in all, just walking in, just terrified, scared. The process is self shot. You're just like, and then they have you walk down uh, through the little room, down the hall. And you come, like, through the medical room, whatever. And you walk to the right, you walk on down. Walk through the little hallway, and like I told you, you look to the left, you see uh, outside that goes out towards like the rec yard, the uh, cafeteria, post office, all that good shit. People up in the construction road farm, you know what I'm talking about. You look to the right, you'll see the Sally Park, and you walk into the car. Or as the uh, one the guard over there, come to the car. Come to the car, I-25, come to the car. And uh, won't forget that. I don't remember the first, uh, first morning I ever heard it. <coughs> Laying in my rack, top rack, I-25, on the top, right here, very back, right by the back window, by the bathroom. They actually called it Peter Beach. Why they call it Peter Beach? Because the bathroom is on the very back wall like this. You got like a little wind, uh, big window forward of it right here. You walk in, you got like your little stop urinal, and you got your sinks, and then to the left, you got like a wall, with like a little door, and you walk into this little room that's got a window that faces out. That's your showers. And it shit's all lit up at night, so like you see everything. And so if you got them back racks, which mine was still kind of far back, and you're like, damn, it sucks. It sucks. You got your little gray coat to go under your bed with the lock. You don't get an actual locker until you actually hit the uh, actual yard. And so, and I ain't gonna lie, my first month there, it wasn't too bad. It was just a bunch of fighting. That's about it. A few people getting caught locked here and there. 
You know what I mean? People talking about Shanks, talking about the past, talking about this, talking about the ups, years, talking about right there. Uh, I'll be talking about this ch on this channel. Uh, even probably get a couple of guests that was actually there during the uh, 2009 riots uh, up north in northern Kentucky at uh, North Point. Uh, pretty bad riot. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Uh, I'll probably try. I, I've met a few people that's actually been losing through it, and I'll probably try to get them on this channel. But anyhow, uh, so yeah, like you know, it's it's uh, the Rotor Farm's like the learning ground going to actual prison. But so check it out. Here, here's my love. So the whole first month there, I'm thinking I'm going to the camps. Let me tell you. Yeah, the camps in Kentucky are sweet. So let me run down what a camp is. All right, so you got Class D in a jail, which is low-level felons. Class D, Class uh, C1s, which is very low-level uh, Class C felons. Like you got your Class Ds, 1 to 3s, 1 to 5s, your Class C, 5 to 10s, Class D, uh, 10 to 20s, and then your Class A, uh, 20 to life. And then your PFO, which is your persistent felony offender. That enhances all that. Uh, so yeah, uh, so my first month there, real quick, run through this, was excitement. They had me thinking I was going to the camp. My caseworker, man, they're telling us, they're saying, yeah, yeah, we're going, you're going to be what they call level two, class C. She said, you'll be eligible to go to a camp. She said, you won't be able to go to a class D for a long time. But she said, I don't give a fuck about going to class D. Done been plenty of them, got plenty of stories for them. They ain't shit for real, bro. They just inside, they just... Jails outside the jail for class uh, low, low, low level class felons. And the ones that's been in nothing but class days, but you swear to God they've been to prison. Swear to God they've been to prison, bro. They, they was on the yard, they was running shit. 100, they was running. Class D warriors, that's what we call them. And you'll meet a bunch of them. Facts. Tell you about it later on. Anyhow, so first month there, they're thinking I'm going that. Whoopie, whoopie, whoop. Go to my caseworker, get my final assessment on my level, get smacked in the face like that. Bam, come here, you. Bam, come here. We got you again. Bam, let me smack you. Level three, medium, fucking class D, heading to the yard. Lady's friends telling me, it is what it is. She said, you could appeal it, which I did. I appealed that bitch. Fuck it, I was mad, thinking I was going to the camp the whole time. I was like, yeah, six, 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 camp. I didn't, I didn't pop off my time or nothing like that, you ain't supposed to, but I mean, you had a few, a few people that you, uh, you know, youngins that's gonna slide in and shit, and they gonna holler at you, and then, you know, be like, well, you know, what's, what's your time, what's up, man, five years, class D traffic, it is what it is, you know what I mean, I'll talk about my time later, another video, white scratch, you know what it is, and they'll chop it up with you, chop, 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 it is what it is, slide on, come on, and, uh, so yeah, you know what I mean, so fucking, Chop it up with the time? No. Most, a lot of people don't talk like talking about time. They got a lot, a lot, a lot. We got to go to farm, they got lots of time. You got to got lifers going in, new lifers. Fucking, uh, lifers that's fucking violated. And knowing they're going back for a very, very long time. Yeah, they done done their life sentence, whatever, 12, 20, 25, whatever the stipulations was. Because, you know, Kentucky throughout the years has changed. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'll talk about that too. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So, yeah. And... Time, it's just something you want to talk about, but uh, anyhow, man, uh, the whole month I'm thinking I'm going to a camp. Camp, you going fishing every day, you can check out poles, sweet ass jobs, sweet ass state jobs, pays good money. A lot of them do. Uh, one camp, uh, it's called Bell County Forestry Camp, you can get on the fucking fire squad, fighting fire, forest fires, and shit. Yeah, shit is real, make good money. It is what it is, help your community. Yeah, I mean, it's safe. It is. I go to level three, <laughs> level three, medium. Good to see you. Lady Trey told me you're going behind the fence. <laughs> I already didn't know that. Get my little sheet. Got all the prisoners that I'm eligible for. Trick bullshit. <laughs> so you're back and everybody's like, where you going? We'll cap you. Woo, 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 woo. You about out here in a week. Because if you got a low level count, uh, class B halfway house status. <laughs> Ooh, out of that bitch. <laughs> so fast. Gone. No, 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 I'm ready. I'm there for a couple more months. Till after the fourth. And then I hit the yard. There to the rest of the year, to the end of the year, Christmas. Then I go home. Yeah. So I did a year. A little, little, little under a year. Swing broader in there. And then uh, I've got three years under my belt. And I got, you know, the other two years counting. But yeah, anyhow. 
So, just smack to the face the next couple months and just drug by because at the Rotor Farm, you can be very limited on stuff you can have. Yeah, if you want playing cards, you want to gamble, whatever. Not me. I did in the jail and the dollar games and shit and the fun games. I hopped on them all day just to pass the time. Uh, it is what it is. Got decent, but never enough to help on that motherfucking table. Uh-uh. No. 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 Nope. That way. No. That way. Uh, but yeah, uh, so, night that I got shipped, I was at the rotor farm. They came to a rack. I had 25, 2, 6, 9, 2, 9, 5, pack it up. Come on. Alright. I packed it up. Took forever to get through the rotor farm process. Oh, man. They had us sitting out there like 5.30 in the morning, sitting out the little thing right there where you take for kids on full car take bitch. Got a little bathroom right there, walk through the hallway, go down to the medical area and to the room. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, anyhow, uh, they had us sitting there, man, forever and ever and ever. Ever. Hours. All talking about trying to compare what, what yard. And I'm over here, it's two certain yards, it's really notorious. I was over here. Please, Lord, don't let us touch down there. Finally, man, they start packing us up. We all try to think we're getting ready to go in the paddy wagon. No, 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 no. They shoot us on the big bus. Big bus. Big gray goose. Big prison bus. Huge ass bus. Shit on the bars of the window. Bed, safe, wrap us up, double chain us, flat box us. Just that process is fun. <laughs> they get us on the bus. When you sit down, the windows are so far up, you can't even see out of them. Motherfuckers start like straight piss and asshole. Not shit, just ass. I was like, God, it was so bad, so ruthless. It is what it is. So, that was a long three hours. And I'll never forget the bus driver poking his head over. We are here. And so, I'm peeking over. Oh, this bus is full of young and wild. And so, fucking, I look over at this motherfucker and I was just like, Start praying real quick. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lord. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, I mean, just to look at this motherfucker set down in a valley. So you top over this hill and it's down in the valley, man. And you look down. So I get there, they send us to the gym, like right, they walk us through the gate, I mean, you're just like this, you see people on the yard going back, this place is a uh, control movement, that means you get five minutes every 30 minutes on the iron to get where you need to get. If you get locked out, you go into the hole, unless you got like a special work pass, which allows you to you know, clean through, I guess, very minimal jobs like that, talk to about that on. So we in the gym, and they processing us. And I'm terrified. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm terrified. This place is huge. We need to this deal. Inmates coming in and out. Fucking. We go through the process, man. And they tell us where I was going to. West Wing. I go to West Wing. And luckily a buddy from the bus that, you know, chopped up with. You know, something like that. Fucking dude. He, he went with us. You know. So he was talking. I walk in. Go to my cell. My cellie, he was hung over. Them Charlie, poor dude. Uh, he had a long time. Dude, been down 18 years. Had a few, he got like, probably like four years left. Going to parole. Be with, uh, praying on that and hoping on that. Uh, anyhow, uh, so I get ready to go to the yard. I totally don't want to go. I'm scared. I'm terrified. And I go to the door. And I look to the left. It's my best fucking friend. This motherfucker even had the same motherfucker that snitched us out on the street. This is one of my eights every day. A, a girl I dated, his best friend's the girl he dated. For a minute. That was my eight. And ever since then, it was alright. Had a little incident. I ended up proving myself shit. Came out my way, played my way. Luckily, uh, my street, uh, my street credit followed me to prison, and played a very important part. Actually, I'll break that down in another whole video. Uh, I'm blessed. 
for our touchdown, bless the people I met. Uh, all in all, it was scary. It was scary, scary. I mean, ruthless. Don't want to go through it again. But I was very blessed for our touchdown. Very blessed with the people there. Uh, amen for them. Uh, keep y'all's head up. And thank y'all for watching. Please like, uh, please like and subscribe. Please uh, hit that notification bell. That way, maybe I don't know. Next update. And all you have to say is simply be what it is. I'll let it your boy. I'll see you guys. Appreciate it. One and one. Out.